Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. We're gonna remove this whole panel. So we're gonna start by taking off the, um, the spare tire jack crank. Take that off. And now there's a series of clips. They have Phillips head screws in them. We'll show you how to get them out. There's four across the front, two more which are missing on this vehicle. And then there's two clips back here, which are different style. Although I'm pretty sure they should be this Phillips screw style. So the way these should come out is you turn them counterclockwise and very lightly almost pull up on the screwdriver while you're doing it so they come out. And then once you have that out, the whole clip will come up and out. You may run into them where they don't want to come out that easily. And in that case, you'll probably need a little 90 degree pick tool, although sometimes you're, you can be successful getting, well, my fingernails aren't very big. Sometimes you can get a fingernail under there, but what you probably have to do is get a pick tool right in underneath just to pry up a little bit while you turn it and pull it out. These ones back here are a different style. You pry up, pull the center up, and pull it out. Although I'm pretty sure these should be the Phillips screw style. Once you have all the clips off, the panel lifts up and off. I'm going to remove this cover, two 10 millimeter bolts on this side and one over on the passenger side. And remove those, 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Loosen the throttle body clamp with a flat blade screwdriver. And you just kind of pull up and down on the whole ducting. There are tubes that go on the side. Once you pull it off the throttle body, you can twist a little bit and pull those tubes free. Clamp for the air filter, pull that off. Then there's two connectors, one easy to see here. Press down on the tab and disconnect. You may press down the tab, use your screwdriver, pry a little bit help loosen it up and the connectors off and then there's another connector press the tab and disconnect and the intake tube comes up and out to remove the fan you want to have fan removal tools this is designed to go on to the bolts that hold the fan pulley on And it holds, as long as you get it on there correctly. You can hold the pulley bolts with that. And then a 36 millimeter wrench goes on to the bolt. And then you can use a ratchet some more leverage and once you break it free then your fan will spin right off
get it around the radiator hose. and loosen the radiator hose clamp, pull it back, and let it go, and then twist the hose to break it free and remove it. And now there's an eight millimeter bolt here, and one pretty much in the same location on the other side. Remove those and we can lift our fan shroud up and out. 8 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension and remove. Get those bolts out and the fan off. You can pull your shroud up and out. Ours is broken because this vehicle has a lift kit on it that they had to break in order to put it on. Four 13 millimeter bolts holds the fan clutch to the fan blade and remove those. And the blade is separated from the clutch. Original fan clutch from the vehicle, new fan clutch from Morning Auto. See they're slightly different as far as their look, but their measurements are the same, same depth uh, has the same bolt pattern for the fan blade. Again, they look slightly different, but the new one from One Auto is going to function just like the original. Um, and if your vehicle is having problems with overheating and your clutch is not engaging, then the new part from One Auto is going to fix your problem. All right, reinstallation of the new clutch. Reattach it to your fan blade, and you can see we're using a new fan blade from One Auto as well. Start in your four bolts, tighten them to 15 foot-pounds. Probably the easiest way to get these together is actually to do the fan and shroud itself. My shroud's badly damaged, but if you basically just kind of feed the shroud and fan down in together. gets to a certain point, grab the fan and just keep feeding the shroud down in. And this will work for most vehicles. It doesn't work very well for mine because the shroud has been broken because somebody put a lift kit on the vehicle. everything in the right place and then get the fan on a couple threads. The shroud you need to look down, make sure it goes into the little clips. One clip here, on the other side, and then put your bolts in. Bolt on this side. And these are eight millimeters, so we'll tighten them up. Tighten your fan up. All right, now take your special fan tool and make sure you put it in holding the correct way and this should be tightened at 40 foot-pounds. No real good way to torque it so I'm just going to take my wrench and get it tight and we'll call that 40. All right remove the shipping cap and put your radiator hose back on and squeeze clamp back into 
place and release it. And then put your air intake back in place. Back in place over here. The tab winds up there. And this clamp goes on. Just reach down and make sure nothing's getting pinched. Place and your mass airflow connection. Reconnect it. Reconnect this connector. The tube down here goes in. flat blade screwdriver to tighten up the clamp that holds it onto the throttle body. And put the throttle body cover back in place. And just have to kind of move it around a little bit. Figure out where the bolt hole is. I'm actually cheating, just looking right through here. Let's see there, start it up and then push this side down into place and start my two bolts over here and then tighten them up. Put the cover back on. So in place you can see all the holes these back clips, just make sure the center's popped up. Push them down in, push the center in. And then these ones across the front. Clip in first. And just push the center right in to lock it. Put your jack handle back in. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.